the game. It's a red stick. What's up y'all welcome back to the channel sorry if there's any wind or any animal noises i'm outside on the front porch as i recommend you do not do what we're about to do in the house just because of this is plastic sauce so it might have fumes or anything like that plus it's also it can get kind of messy so by the intro you can tell what we're about to get into we're about to make us our own worms we've been into fishing a lot lately so i was like man let's just go make our own product see what we can do and then if it comes out good, this is my first pour. If they come out good, I'm gonna give some of my um, worms, lures, whatever I end up making to you guys. So anyways, I hope y'all enjoy this video. It's something new and something I've never done, like I said. And uh, I just wanna give it a go. So I hope y'all enjoy it. And let's just hop right into the video. All right, y'all. So there's a couple things you're gonna need to make this video happen in order to make your own uh, baits right so the first one you're gonna need a microwave any microwave will work this is just a cheap microwave I've had since my dorm life all right you're gonna need some type of color um, this right here is green pumpkin so you're gonna need some type of color you don't have to have this but I mean why not it's glitter it's pretty cheap okay you're going to need a measuring cup I prefer glass. I mean, most people do. It's gonna get hot, so you might want gloves. Something to stir it with, butter knife. This right here is our injector. Um, this is what we're gonna use to inject our plastic into this mold right here, which you're also gonna need, a mold. And this mold right here holds five, five stick baits? Yeah, this one holds five stick baits. You're definitely gonna need plastic saw. I have soft. You're probably going to want like some type of hardener. Um, you're going to want some type of hardener, some type of salt. Salt's going to help that bait sink. The hardener is going to give that, that soft plastic salt, obviously, what it says. It's going to make it harder, right? I don't have any hardener. I didn't buy any, and I don't have salt. But I'm getting that next time. I recommend it. Um, this clamp right here, this, um, this mold didn't come with a clamp, so I'm just going to stick that clamp on there. And then your final thing, a thermometer. You're gonna wanna have this plastic when it comes out the microwave, um, about 350, 300 to 350, or 340 to 350, somewhere in that range. So let's make our first lure. Let's make our first plastic. So let's wish each other luck and let's make it happen. Yep, we spilled some. Definitely spilled some. Let me close this up. Is that about a cup? That's about a cup. Okay, so that's what plastic salt looks like. White, milk, kind of. I'm going to take this. I'm just going to stir it up pretty good because I didn't get to shake it that well because of the... That's a gallon, so it's hard to pick up. So I'm going to stir this up real good. Okay, as you can see, that's a cup. It's all stirred up. I'm gonna put it in the microwave for about two minutes and 50 seconds to see how hot it gets, and then I'm gonna stir it again. So, take that, put it in there. Oh, the plate's not in there. The plate's not in there. Maybe it'll spin like that. You can't really see it in there. This is a crappy microwave. Like I said, you don't need a good one. 
So anyways, we're going to let that heat up and then we're going to take our thermometer right here. Make sure that it's where I want it and we'll add our color glitter and then we'll inject it. So let's wait on that. I grabbed a pair of my work gloves because this stuff gets hot. So let's see how hot it is. Alright, it's about 150. So I'm gonna put it in there and let it finish. So we're gonna let It almost fell. All right, so we're gonna let that finish getting hot and then we'll pull it back out and start. Pull it get hot. All right, should we use a green pumpkin or red? Let's go with, let's go with a uh, green pumpkin. So you gotta shake your, uh, your dye up really well before you put it in there. So, like I said, this is my first pour, so cut me a little slack. Hopefully I don't mess it up, but so far I think we're doing alright. So let's pull this out and stir it up and put our color in there. Alright, so I know that's hot enough. Stir that goodness up. I highly make, uh, recommend this glove because it is this stuff is hot. And it stinks. All right, so I'm gonna add some of this green pumpkin in there. Take this glove off. Mm. Actually, I'm gonna put the dropper on there too as well. Came with these little droppers, so I don't wanna pour too much in there. So let's twist this bad boy on there. In there. I don't know how much to pour in there, so let's start with that. Oh yeah. See that color change now. Yes, yeah, sir. Stir that up real good. All right. Now I'm gonna add some flakes. There's black. I'm gonna put some gold flakes in there. These are gold. I'm gonna do a couple of these little deals. That was way too many flakes. And I'm also gonna put some of these purple ones in there. Just because, why not? Makes it fun. I'm gonna put a little bit of these in there. There we go. Let's stir that up again, real good. Where's my glove? Safety first, put the glove on. And then I'm gonna grab this and put this into, back into our microwave. So that's green pumpkin with purple and gold flakes. Actually, before I put this in the microwave, I'm gonna add a couple more flakes. A couple more purple flakes. There we go. I go crazy. So let me stir these in real quick. First time doing it, so let's hope it comes out good. Alright, All right, let's throw that back in the microwave real quick. Heat her back up for like 15 seconds. This is the mold, and this is what the mold looks like, the mold cavity. So I'm just gonna take that. I'm gonna put my clamp on here because I don't have a clamp for this. Keep it just like that. Right here is the hole. Just gonna take the injector and put that in the hole. 
So let's pull this out. Stir it one more time. And let's inject it. So let's take our injector, suck it in there slow. Fill her up. Stick it in that mold. Push it in there nice and slow. And now you can see it's full because it's leaking. And cover the top a little bit. So after the mold and everything's filled like this, you're gonna let it sit for like two to three minutes. Let that harden up and then we'll be good to go. And then we have, we did one cup. So that's plenty enough to make a whole nother batch. So I'm gonna end up making 10 of these and uh, I'll show you the results after it comes out the mold. Before I forget, I took the top off this. Um, the plastic that's on here will peel right off. And all you gotta do is take your cup right here, put your mold or whatever you have left over, just squirt it back into here like that. And we'll just remelt it down and use it again. So clean it out. Make sure it's all good. Pull it back. Screw the top back on. Oh, screw the top back on. So it's good to go. Okay, I waited a while. So what I'm about to do is take this clamp off. This stuff still feels kind of hot. <clears throat> I'm just going to open it. And yeah, that clamp is on there pretty good. Oh, it fell out. That's what they came out looking like. Right there. Boom. Fire. For my first ones, I think that's pretty good. So we're gonna take this extra stuff off and dip them in some cold water real quick. But that's really what they came out to. Look like I'm gonna get you a better pick after this. Alright, so what I do, so I'm, what I'm gonna do now is rip these tips off. Oh, make sure you can see. I'm ripping this off. This fat stuff and remember with this extra stuff we just throw back into our mixture we can melt it down again I'm just gonna rip them apart try not to tear them this is soft kind of get this little extra stuff off and uh, that's what our worms gonna look like essentially so I'm gonna put them in some cold water real quick and let them chill out for a minute all right y'all I hope y'all enjoyed my first ever a little cook we got us some worm feed boys worms let me know if there's any other colors or anything you want me to do obviously i have to buy more but i have this stuff right here that glows in the dark and i can't wait to give that a go all we used was obviously green pumpkin so hopefully you enjoyed it if you did drop a comment down below leave a like because if you don't leave a like i'm not gonna know who to give these baits to this is five what i'll end up doing is slipping them in a bag dropping them in here sending you five of the worms that we put together hopefully some of your colors your choices your glitter um will get more molds but for now we're sticking with this one because these things are like 200 dollars. and if i reach out to you i'll get your i'll get a dm from you somewhere instagram twitter whatever we'll figure it out i'll get your p.o box and i'll send you a little care package you can try them out and then you can see if you like them or not i need to buy salt and i need to buy hardener so that's pretty much it because they did float a little bit but let's stick a texas rig on here put a little weight on top and uh rip some freaking lips it's gonna take 24 hours i'm gonna let them sit for 24 hours have a fishing challenge with them tomorrow um i'm gonna go ahead and do this next mix and i hope you enjoy it. this is my first ever video episode one many more episodes to come in the future so leave that like drop that comment let me know if you want them and let's do it